Hey guys, B's and G's, happy. Wait a minute, that is sip of sunshine because it's Wednesday. Turn this bitch around. Happy, homebrew, Wednesday, 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 okay, fine. Oh, sip of sunshine. This beer is so good. It's got, kind of, I just can't get over. Let's see if I can find the best light here. How stinking clear this beer is. A pound of oats and Conan yeast, which everybody knows Conan yeast clears not so good. Look, anybody have Tourette's? Okay. Anyway, let's get to looking at stuff. Looky what I got in the mail today. That's. Mad Tree Glass Barrel Aged Trunk Series. Nice and cute and pretty. And another one, different style. Awesome. And here over there, a big one. Which boxes, boxes, boxes. Look at that big ass metal sign. Um, gauge this is, I would say that's around 10 gauge of carbon steel. Um, a little over a quarter, I mean an eighth of an inch thick, so it's pretty heavy. So that's pretty awesome, got it on sale. It's like Kohl's cash, you know, you gotta get that stuff on sale whether you need it or not. Then there's my, my fake Brett, the British IPA. Um, it's gonna get kegged shortly. Um, this is sort of lined it up, and it has been bubbling. I don't know if it's just all gassing or if it's actually still actively fermenting. Um, but yeah, it's been dry hopped and it's just sitting. So shit's getting rural. Um, so yeah, what have I done? Let's see. Let's let's set this down. Set this down, and I'll talk to you guys. <sighs> Lighting. I need a gaffer. Gaffer. I need a gaffer. Um, everything's great until I hit the go button, then everything gets dark, so. See, what have I done? I built a, uh, built a pre-chiller for my, uh, cooling water, so that's me ground temperature water. Um, did a little test uh, a week or so ago, and, uh, my ground water equalized about 75 degrees. So, not so good. So I've got, let's see, a half inch ID coil of copper 10 foot long and I basically made a immersion chiller. Um, this immersion chiller is going to live inside of a five gallon bucket which I will fill with ice. Now the ice is going to be in there once I kind of cool the beer down we'll say to the to the upper to mid 80s then I'll fill it with ice that way ice and water I don't know if I'm going to salt it or not but that'll be that'll be cool um, to cool down the, the wart because the groundwater is going to be colder. I never had this issue at the other house. The ground temperature was always below 70. Um, why? Who knows? Municipal water. It just where it comes from. It's like magnets. It's magic. Magnets are magic. I don't, how do magnets work? But um, I got some footage of that. And basically, that's it, guys. I'm um, hanging out, waiting for this uh, fake Brett IPA to go ahead and uh, get kegged. I can't really wait. I'm losing my patience. But um, yeah, it should be. Pretty stinking amazing, I'm hoping. The uh, gravity sample was pretty fucking good. Pardon my Spanish, French, whatever fuck is. What what origin is the F word? But, um, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm up to. Um, besides so drinking some beers um, Tuesday night right now. I'm supposed to have soccer practice with the kids. Well, it's raining in Ohio. Uh, won't stop raining in Ohio. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, sign off we'll go ahead and look at some clips and um yeah you guys have an awesome weekend um be watching your sh your stuff just because i don't comment doesn't mean it doesn't watch and my english is awesome all right guys peace see you 
I'm uh, starting my uh, pre-chiller. Basic, it's just a immersion chiller. But uh, fittings, five foot stick of aluminum, you know, copper bucket that's gonna go all in, and we'll get going here in a minute. Okay, no measuring here. I just, uh, that's why I had the five foot length of copper just soldered on so I can just kind of eyeball everything and put it in there. But I'm gonna put my other 90 here, no 90 there, that'll be out. Then I'll have a hose connection. I'll be my either hose out or hose in. Um, probably be the hose out, but yeah, that's why I bought. You can buy a five foot section of copper for just almost a dollar more, and you can buy two four foot sections. I mean, two two foot sections. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I'll get this going. My messy garage. Cheers, boys. This is gonna go. I'm gonna. I got some copper copper line. I'm gonna tie all these together. Just copper, just solder all these lines to these tubes, that tube, so it gives some rigidity. But it's a little warm. It's gonna sit. Dag. Yeah, it. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Clumsy. But that's gonna go in there. I see, like that. So we'll have the water out, the water in. I have it coming out on this side, or I may run the tube over and have both of them on on one side. I don't know, but that's basically the premise. I'm gonna have a short little stub with. Um, that fitting on it. I got well that's the half half MPT male and that's the half MPT female. And I've got the fittings that go on the other side, the um the you know three quarter um hose fitting. So yeah cheers. She's finished so the water's gonna come in the left here. Come down but to go all the way down. And once it goes all the way down it's gonna come back up and then come out there. That'll be hooked up to a, a short six-foot section of garden hose, and that'll go into my uh, counterflow chiller. So that is it. I went ahead and I soldered, not my best solder job, I soldered all these links, all these turns down to that side just to give it a little bit of rigidity. It's half-inch ID tube, so it's it's pretty stiff, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, let me um, stop and I'll put it in the bucket and we'll see what it looks like. And that's it in the bucket. So. It'll come in, come in on the left. This will all be filled with um, ice, then um, ice water, and I'll exit here. So, promise, promise it is that it's going to be cool. It'll go down through the ice and come back up. So hopefully it'll be cold, colder at least anyway to get my 75 degree ground temp water down. So I can uh, don't have to wait so long to catch my yeast. That's it, guys. Cheers, peace.